Good morning, Jennifer Feline here, coming at you this Sunday rainy morning, and we're reading through chapter one of Louise Hay, You Can Heal Your Life. It's a great book. Um, I highly recommend it. And we've been learning so far in chapter one about um, how our thoughts um, can be changed and how past beliefs and patterns have got us to this moment, but we can change our circumstances by changing those negative thoughts and beliefs. The next section in chapter one is entitled, Believe It or Not, We Do Choose Our Thoughts. We may habitually think the same thought over and over so that it does not seem we are choosing the thought. But we did make the original choice. We can refuse to think certain thoughts. Look how often you have refused to think a positive thought about yourself. Well, you can also refuse to think a negative thought about yourself. It seems to me that everyone on this planet whom I know or have worked with is suffering from self-hatred and guilt to one degree or another. The more self-hatred and guilt we have, the less our lives work. The less self-hatred and guilt we have, the better our lives work on all levels. That's interesting. The next section, the innermost belief for everyone I have worked with is always, I'm not good enough. We frequently add to that, and I don't do enough, or I don't deserve. Does this sound like you? Are you saying or implying or feeling that you are not good enough? But for whom? And according to whose standards? Is this belief if this belief is very strong in you, then how can you possibly have created a loving, joyous, prosperous, healthy life? Somehow your main subconscious belief would always be contradicting it. Somehow you would never quite get it together, for something would always be going wrong somewhere. And those are two very, very good sections that first to realize we do choose our thoughts. And sometimes, like she said, we may habitually just tell ourselves the same thing over and over again, like a broken record, and then soon forget that um, that thought we actually created. You know, we just may take it as belief. Oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, I always fail. I always get dealt the wrong hand. Why does everyone else always get luck and I have bad luck? We tell these things to ourselves over and over and over again that it just becomes habitual. You know, we always expect the worst to happen. And a lot of times for us, as she says, the innermost belief for everyone is that I'm not good enough. You know, I don't do enough. I don't deserve. I'm not lovable. And if we're telling ourselves those things, and we're constantly berating ourselves and feeling that lack, then how can we ever have a good life? Because all that negativity is just growing and growing and growing and attracting more negativity and more situations, more people who will abuse us, more people who will belittle us. And we have to recognize that we have the choice to change that. Stop berating yourself. Stop telling yourself you're not good enough. And then don't take these thoughts and say, I knew I wasn't good enough because I'm not telling myself positive thoughts. Therefore, I'm never going to succeed. You know, we can trick ourselves very easily. So just cut it out, you know. Give yourself um, a, a nice big hug. Say, okay, the past is the past. Let's get on with our lives. Let's actually see if this stuff works. Run a science experiment. You know, if you don't believe it, fine. But just give yourself that chance. Say, I'm going to commit to telling myself a good thought each day. I'm going to commit for one week of being positive. And even if your negative self says, ah, this is a bunch of bull crap, you know, a bunch of hairy fairy stuff, just allow yourself one week <laughs> each day. Tell yourself, I am good enough. I am lovable. I do deserve a good life. And see what happens. 
If it doesn't work, hey, what did you have to lose? But at least try to work these principles into your life. It's a new thing for some of us, but it's a daily discipline. It's not hard to do. Um, and just continue to work on yourself. Love yourself that much to give yourself just a little bit, just one good thought out of all those negative thoughts that you've told yourself for the day. Give yourself at least one good thought. Thank you so much for listening. Stay tuned as we continue to work through Chapter 1. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, and I'll talk to you soon.